What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 6 as America. <clears throat> We're currently making a few pretty promising buildings. We're getting two banks in Charleston and Washington. The industrial zone in San Francisco and the campus in New York. Uh, I believe in the last part we settled Baltimore. It's not that great yet, but you know, it's all right. And what we're going to do is I'm going to steal every tile that I can away from Greece. I do not want him to be able to actually do anything here um, because this is clearly my territory. And he's invading here. I don't like that. He can have the mountains. I don't care about that. But um, every workable tile is going to belong to me. Actually, let's do this as well just to spite him. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Have fun with your city, Greece. Let's see. Let's see if it was worth it. I very much doubt it. Gott grüße euch, Geselle. Ich bin Kaiser Friedrich und herrsche über deutsche und welsche Lande, über Burgund und manche mehr. Ich weiß wohl, dass auch ihr kund geherrschen mit rechter Gewalt. All right, so we finally meet Germany. We we knew that he was in the game. Yes, I want to see where your capital is. Oh, hello. Augusta e Roma Imperator Caesar Traianus Sum. Quis es? Qua terra patria vocas. All right, so Trajan's in the game as well. Hello. Sure. So it looks like we actually met everybody now. We have eight different civilizations. No one apparently has been taken out yet. We got, let's see, Rome over there. Germany over there. That doesn't really seem fair. So they had a whole continent to the two of them. Actually, no, Congo was there as well. Let's see, we had... Right, so there's about four civilizations per continent, I guess. Except ours has five because we also have Norway. So these three dudes had an, a, just a whole continent entirely to themselves. That doesn't really seem fair, does it? All right, let's get an embassy with him. He likes me so far, and uh, the more allies you have, the better. Oh no, he's new Cappy. That's his hidden agenda. He has no hesitation to use nuclear weapons, respects other civilizations that project strength with nuclear weapons. That's pretty dangerous stuff. Uh, he doesn't really like me that much right off the bat. He does. I'm going to get an embassy with him. There we go. And then, I mean, he probably doesn't want one. Yeah, he's about... Alright, he's kind of neutral on me, but we have an embassy now. That'll make it a bit better, at least. Yeah, he does. He just does not like me. What happened here? Okay, different governments. So he's angry that I'm recruiting his city-states. But I can still get an embassy. Uh, normally, of course, this would be pretty expensive, but we have a lot of gold. And so, I don't really care. Alright, an embassy with them. They're also new Cappy. Are you serious? Two of them are new Cappy? Uh, tries to have the highest over overall population, respects other high population civs. So he'll probably respect me for that, hopefully. Yeah, he absolutely hates me. Alright, so at least we know now that once we get to nukes, we have to be really careful around Congo and Germany. I mean, the continent on the other side is just going to be a straight-up mess, that's for sure. Because these two fellas are going to be nuking the heck out of everything on that continent. That cannot be fun for Trajan. I hope for their sake that they are actually buddies a bit. Uh, sure, why not? I'll do it. Help them out a bit. Someone just got a general. Oh, we might still get the merchant. Still saving up on my faith. I'm not going to spend gold on this um, gray merchant, but if we could get him with faith, that would be great. I mean, that, that scientist is really just in the bag. No one's going to be able to steal that from me. We could actually get an artist. All right, hold on. We do have an art museum, do we not? We absolutely do. All right, so here's what I'm going to do then. I'm actually going to get the artist. Steal him away from... Was it Congo? Yeah, Congo. I'm going to steal his artist. And we need housing in Boston. We did a quest for someone. Man, we're a suzerain of four different 
City states, we could get about two more pretty easily. Yerevan and Lisbon are pretty close. Alright, that's nice. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna start making some art in the next turn. That's gonna get us more tourism and culture. I'm mostly doing it for the culture, to be honest. Even though apparently I'm doing alright in the cultural victory. In fact, apparently I have more tourists than anybody else, and I don't know why. So we have 66 domestic tourists. Uh, we have a bunch of visitors from all around the world, except for Germany and Rome. So we have nine visiting tourists. We need to get a guest in 91 to win. All right. So if you lose all your domestic tourists, that is bad because then your tourists start leaving Whatever the country. Is contrary to nature is contrary to reason. And whatsoever is contrary to reason is absurd. All right, thank you, Spinoza. All right, so we're gonna grab this one. Clearly, that's gonna be a lot of science for us. And let's see, we ha okay. Good amount of extra influence. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's pretty good. We could switch governments to, but I think I will stay with what we have uh, for now. Still like these a lot. I could do away with the limes though. We're not making that many walls anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna go with chivalry. We can make some more modern cavalry. All right, let's get a sculpture or not. The Sistine Chapel ceiling. So that's a nice start. Alright, so for our next Civic, we're already pretty far into all this. I have six cities following your religion. I don't have a religion, so that will absolutely never happen. Uh, but this is the end of this thing, so we could, uh, as, might as well never actually get this. Because this is all about religion. I mean, it's a theocracy, you know. Uh, so we don't really need that. We are much better off going with either uh, Opera and Ballet. That would allow us to make the Bolshoi Theater. Might not be bad, uh, but I think for now, I'll just go with uh, mercantilism, which will lead to colonialism. It's not that amazing. I mean, this one, I guess, is all right, Raj, but it's not even that good. Uh, but all right, we'll just go with that. Build seven different specialty districts. I am not sure that that will ever happen, because I would need to make at least an encampment for that. I think that's the only one that we haven't made yet. Norway is now Spain. <clears throat> what a surprise. Oh, we lost Vilnius. Alright, we get one more and we are their suzerain again. Uh, so we'll probably do that. The most important thing to me is the two sides, just because they are the... Claims that cannot be tested. Assertions immune to disproof are veridically worthless. Whatever value they may have in inspiring us or exciting our sense of wonder. All right. We got that in the bag now. Uh, but the only one I really care about is the Tusa because that gives us a bunch of extra science everywhere. And I love that. All right. More art. All right. We got David. He's in there as well. Uh, theming bonus doubling output when displaying objects of the same type from different artists. So we need to get, for example, I guess 30 sculptures from different artists. So to really get that, you do need more art museums and then get more great artists. That's like the only way to really do that. All right, so we just got scientific theory, which is great. Uh, build two neighborhoods. Can we even make those yet? Must be a civic. There it is. Grows to 15 population. That's pretty difficult, but okay. I mean, I would like to make some neighborhoods, though, so eventually we'll get this, but our science is too quick for our culture. It's kind of the, the issue right now. Um, I'm going to go with industrialization 
Just for the factory, and I'm never gonna make uh, those workshops. Actually, no. I'm gonna go for the cavalry and then the rough rider. Get a stronger military. Uh, need more housing. Purchase with faith. So we can purchase a Gurdwara. But I think I'd much rather actually save my faith for a great person. Yeah, we're not gonna get the next great rider. Greece is pretty strong in that department. Uh, again, it's mostly the merchant that I really want, so I'll just keep saving up and see we still stand a chance of uh, getting there. I do know that the religion... Let's see... Yeah, so Norway has been converting me. They, I see they, they've converted a bit of Spain as well. But they mostly stick to their own religion, so for now nobody's really that dangerous. Greece is a bit... Actually, that's not their own religion. Spain's already been converted. All right, so Greece would be a um, our biggest threat right now. If they get to about four or five civilizations converted, I will probably have to declare war on them just to wipe them out. Um, because if I don't, then he actually stands a pretty good chance of winning a religious victory. That would be bad. All right, excited for that campus. Because we are starting to get real far in terms of science. In fact, we are about to reach the modern era. And this is where we get the stuff that I've never seen before. Uh, like I said, I only really played one game. Which was a religious victory as Japan. I already, already talked about that, I believe. But, um... Yeah, I ended it pretty early. Pieta. Alright. Or Pieta. I don't even know. Alright, add religious relics from a unique great artist to receive the bonus. Alright. So I guess we need religious arts in there. To get the uh, biggest bonuses. Alright, so in... San Francisco. I think we should just go with a workshop for now. Uh, I know that housing is probably... Yeah, housing is a bit of an issue. Actually, let's make an aqueduct, maybe. I kind of want to save this spot because that's going to be good for... Uh, something like a holy site maybe later on or... Although... Actually, a holy site is the only thing that gets a bonus from the mountain, so I can actually just make the aqueduct there. Which will, um, at least temporarily... Make the housing situation a lot better in that city. Alright. Still don't know what Japan is doing on my borders with all those troops. He's supposed to kind of like me, but you just keep standing there. And I only just realized how many damn apostles there's running around here. Alright, thank you. Uh, Norway. You have so few troops. Are you serious right now? <clears throat> So he's got like a few more, whatever, man. Just you wait until I get my Rough Riders. Then I'll show you who's got a weak army. You'll see. You'll all see. Alright, so in Baltimore... Uh, sure, I'll get a monument. Yeah, this city's gonna have some pretty serious growth issues. So that's pretty sad. But Norway has converted... Just himself for now, but he will convert me. If he gets one more of my cities converted, which he will... Uh, probably next turn, he'll have me converted, basically. This is gonna- this is gonna get pretty intense, because he's got so many apostles, and those are basically a better version of a missionary. So, we might later on be forced to take on Norway. Well, to be honest, I would welcome that. I quite enjoyed the warfare in this game so far. Greece has an apostle. How, why would I care that they got a promotion? Are you serious? Rome built a harbor. Oh, uh, wait, I don't really know where that would be. Alright, Japan's getting rid of... Um, Norway's religion. Don't want that around there. No one starts a war 
or rather, no one in his senses ought to do so, without first being clear in his mind what he intends to achieve by that war and how he intends to conduct it. All right. So that will give us access to rifling, which gives us the Rough Rider, who is really, really strong. Uh, let's see. San Francisco needs more housing. We're working on that. Don't worry. Have a bit of patience, man. We'll get there. Wait, his religion just went down, and Greece's religion went up a bit. I think that's a result of the religious warfare. Dude, I don't know where these guys are going, but this is freaking me out. That's a lot of dudes. Apparently, Boston just um, adopted Sikhism. So did Baltimore and New York. So basically, Greece has converted me then, right? Yeah, it doesn't show yet, but he has. Philip declared war on the Hattusa. Why would you do that? Right, I could levy their military if I want to go to war. I don't think I can pledge to protect a city-state anymore. Kind of sad to see that that's no longer here. Or maybe it's because they're already at war. The option actually might still be there. No, I guess not. That is a pretty good deal. I will gladly take it. I mean, if anything, I would like to be friends with most people. Because that will make it a lot easier for me to uh, win my either scientific or cultural victory. I mean, culture isn't really looking too great. Uh, I have a lot of extra coffee, sure. I mean, that's a lot of gold that he just offered me. I will take that. Absolutely. Congo conquered Cologne. Oh my god, are you serious? I don't know where that would be. Also, the, the German capital is so big. In a market economy, however, the individual has some possibility of escaping from the power of the state. Yeah, so this really isn't that good. So I'm not going to change anything. Apparently, we just did a quest, so we get an envoy with Zanzibar. They're already... I'm already their suzerain. But that's still pretty nice, though. I'm supposed to declare war on someone to get a boost for this, but, I mean, that would be a pretty significant decision. And I honestly don't think that that would be worth the extra boost there. I kind of want to get to natural history, though. Um, but also urbanization, so I'm a little... Build two field cannons. We still have to do that one. Settler cost reduced by 50%. That one's also pretty good, especially if you combine that one with the settler building speed, I guess, or extra production policy. Then they're they're cheaper, and you make them a lot quicker as well. Uh, that would be pretty sick. But, alright, here's the thing. I really want to be able to make neighborhoods, because those, those actually provide a whole lot of housing. But at the same time, um, I would love to be able to make antiquity sites, you know, get more works of art and things like that, so... I don't really care about the Bolshoi Theater that much, and this is where the line ends. So this is sort of an optional little thing. I'll go with Colonialism first, see if it can get the boost of the Specialty District one. Yes, Library's worth six science, which is, you know, that's a lot of science, clearly. Uh, so we're definitely going to grab one there. But here we go. We're finally getting our banks as well. And that'll give me like, what, five, six extra gold? And then extra merchant points as well. I'm seeing a Japanese heavy chariot there. I don't know if I like that. That's a pretty bad deal. Again, that's, you're not really offering me all that much, but sure, I'll take it. It's a horrible deal for me, but um, I'll still take it. I think open borders might still be beneficial in terms of a 
cultural victory. I'm not sure if that's true. Yeah, I'm pretty far ahead in science. Congo is about half of my science, and they're number two, so we're safe. I mean, look at Germany. 24 science per turn. Both 32. Speak louder than words. Japan and Germany are really uncultured as well. I mean, Germany's just doing really poorly somehow. All right, so here we go. This is the moment of truth. I We need to make, all right, there's a couple things. Still want to make that spy. I want to get a rough rider, obviously, and two field cannons we need as well. I'll start with a spy, though, because we haven't really seen that yet. Preslav has made peace with Congo. And Congo made peace with Germany. All right, build two banks. We're about to actually get this boost, and that will allow us to make the stock exchange. So I will actually go for that. Now this merchant, we should actually be in the lead after we make these banks. Like, we're gonna get more points towards this than Spain. But it would still be pretty difficult to actually get the merchant. We might have to spend real money uh, towards the end there. I mean, it'll still take quite a while for him to get close enough, but... We're gonna have to spend a lot of gold to get this guy. I mean, luckily, we're making an excessive amount of gold. And I like that a lot. And the more banks and commercial hubs we make, I mean, the more we're gonna get, so that's great. Japan just found Crater Lake, and so, did, so is Rome. So I'm guessing it's probably on the other continent because we haven't seen anything like that. All right, our knowledge of uh, economics has been boosted. That's good news. All right, so here's our next uh, thingy. In Charleston, I think I might want to actually make an encampment uh, because they wouldn't really benefit that much from a theater square. They've got a good amount of amenities. They need more housing, and some of these buildings actually do provide that. So I'm gonna make an encampment here. And then if we do get another theater square later, we can just put that in the middle because it gets bonuses from other districts. Uh, so that's gonna be pretty good there. All right, so in Boston, we just made our monument, I guess. I don't know what else we could have made. Yeah, either walls or a monument. I'm guessing the monument. We could get a campus here. And honestly, I would like a campus in as many places as I really can. So I'm gonna drop a campus on this hill where it'll get bonuses from the two adjacent mountains. Yeah, I think that would be for the best. It'll take them quite a while to make it, but all we really gotta do is work. Maybe some more production tiles if we, well, we don't actually have those. That's a bummer, all right. New York needs more housing. Everybody always needs more housing. That is the, the number one thing you're gonna run into in this game. Unless, of course, you completely prioritize housing and amenities and you can keep growing. That's something I kind of would like to try. To just full on go after sort of tall cities the way you could in, in Civ 5. Ich verstore meine Feinde. All right. Und ob ihnen helft. Auch ich. Yeah, he doesn't like it. He's got a weird dialect, by the way. He doesn't like the fact that I'm helping other uh, city states. Simile lois caelesti regno, imperium tui late patet. Optime. I actually really like this guy. I think he's a great new leader, even though he's very similar, of course, to uh, to Caesar. Um, but he likes empires that have a lot of. See, he's actually friendly now. So is Japan. Oh, that's good. I like that. Um, but he likes empires that have a lot of land. And seeing as we have, you know, six cities, we have a good amount of land up here. And he's really impressed by that, apparently. I mean, we could even have more land if we would like to. Oh, God. Congo declare war on Rome. I didn't think that Congo was going to be, like, a really militaristic um, civilization. But apparently they are. They're very aggressive. Can't wait to leave this planet. Alright, no matter what, I will get this merchant. I need him. Dude, I'm making so much gold. Alright, let's see. 
So we're gonna get that. All right, not much going on. We're gonna get that library. That's gonna be another six signs per turn. That's beautiful, but we really do gonna get some housing in New York. Now, sadly, we cannot get an aqueduct here. That would have been really good. But there's no river. There's no source of fresh water near here. And I haven't really seen anything that will help me sort of purify. All right, thank you. Send me a trade delegation. Um, I guess sewers would be really good, though. So we'll probably just go with sanitation because that bonus is going to take a while anyway. Elnox medics. Industrial era support unit can heal adjacent units. I'm not sure how those work yet. Uh, but sewers are really good, clearly. I also like the idea of getting steam power for the coal. Although I'm not entirely sure which things will require coal. Economics is a subject that does not greatly respect one's wishes. All right, so we got Big Ben and the Stock Exchange now. Which reminds me... All right, yeah, Oxford would take forever to make right now. We definitely need to focus more on other uh, things first. Friendship with... Oh, Atus has been defeated. Are you kidding me right now, dude? So if I'm not mistaken, that would be a reason for me to... Okay, apparently not a reason to declare war. Let's see. Diplomatic promise was kept. We have a residency. Do you want to be friends? Does not. Oh, this guy's loving me right now. Rome must remain Rome. A friend to no one more than to herself. All right. I mean, fair enough. You're a bit worried. I get that. Well, there goes uh, Tusa. And that is quite worrying that Spain would be willing to do something so drastic later on in the game. Let's get you down there. We're going to need a bigger army to protect ourselves from Spain in New York. I find him quite worrisome. We can upgrade this guy to a field cannon. Oh my god. Are you serious? That's so much easier than just making those. There you go. Scorched Earth. And we get a free envoy with Brussels. Uh, which is nice because I am their suzerain. Production towards wonders. That's Yeah, I remember that. So we're going to get sanitation just for the, uh, the sewers. Because we are going to want sewers pretty much everywhere. A university will provide plus 12 science. That is insane. I will want that. As you can see, we lost a bunch of science because Hattusa is now gone. And I really want to liberate them. But I thought that we did have a reason to declare war. Yeah, see, protector at war should be an option. And then if we actually liberate Hattusa... Then we should be okay. I might actually do a little liberation war. I will consider it if the option actually does pop up this time around. I'm at Jerusalem. Do you want me to train a rough rider? Oh, no worries. I absolutely will do that. Pretty soon, too. Colonialism. The enforced spread of the rule of reason. But who is going to spread it among the colonizers? That's a pretty good quote as well. All right, so we got Raj now, which I didn't really care for. Extra gold in cities not on your original capital's continent. Um, if you are playing on sort of an island map and there's lots of different continents, maybe then this would be really good. Uh, right now, if you look at our continent, all of our cities are on the same continent. In fact, this continent is extremely large. It really is. Wow. All right. Apparently, this little part is Zealandia. We're in Europe. This is Zania. That's where Rome is. And then Jerusalem is in Kazakhstania. Kazakhstania, maybe. I don't even know. Apparently, they're under attack by someone. Is it New York again? Charleston needs housing. All right. We are going to get to work on that for sure. All right. Let's see about Spain, though. I don't understand. Why am I not allowed to declare protector at war? Is it maybe only if they're already under attack and not after they've actually been taken out because that's kind of lame. That doesn't really help me right now. 
All right, so we're gonna get the encampment in six turns. So we're gonna go for civil engineering then. Uh, we get two more envoys. I hope we find another city-state that, let's see, will give me science because right now we've got pretty much nothing. Let's get one with you just for the, so that the producing units is a bit quicker. And let's get one more with Vilnius so we are actually their suzerain again. Looks good to me. All right, so this field cannon's ready. So is this one. Actually, let's move you over towards New York so that we can actually deal with Spain if the need arises. I will upgrade this guy to cavalry because let's be honest, a horseman isn't exactly relevant anymore. Sure, let's upgrade everybody because I'm pretty sure that my military score is going to go up quite a bit when I do that. Norway's already converted three different sieves. But that's mostly the weaker ones, so I'm not too worried about it. Alright, I'm gonna do one more turn. Let's grab that monument up there. Looks like we might just not get the merchant. We are too far behind. Rome built barracks. Okay, I mean, good for them? Or something? What would you like me to say? Maybe if I were worried about them or at war with them, this would be relevant information, but right now, it, that does nothing for me. Alright, Field Cannon, you're good here. Just in case Japan tries something weird. Let's get you down there. San Francisco. Alright. All right, so in Baltimore, we just finished our little monument. We could get a harbor, but that's not going to be that good straight away. Honestly, what they need more than anything is food. Because they have very, very little tiles that do give them food. Let's just do that for now. So at least they can grow a little bit more. Yeah, I'm not going to get any bonuses from that. Campus, barely. That is not very good. We're actually making a campus here. Every two adjacent district, okay. Maybe make a campus there. Alright, let's make a campus. It'll take forever, but I never really... Um, you know, thought that Baltimore was going to be that great anyway. I just wanted that land. Uh, but alright. I'm actually going to leave it here for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. In the next part, we will finally get our spy. And we'll take a look at how that all works. And, uh, that's going to be good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm going to be back soon with more Civilization 6.